Good day. So today I'd like to talk to you about this HD video ca game capture. Game capture. Basically what this will do is capture any HDMI source that you want to output to your computer. So basically it will convert your, H or your HDMI video to a USB 3.0. One thing I just wanted to say that this is not a device, a computerless device. You do need to connect it up to a computer. It will allow your computer to stream any video source you want live. So if you have a video game and you want to uh, send it live over Twitch or any sort of video source, a great way of doing it. Connect to PC, laptop. It works on all works on all, all three major uh, per, uh, computer platforms. It'll work with Linux. It'll work with uh, uh, Macintosh computers. It will work with uh, PC, Windows PCs, even Windows 7 and XP and 10. So that's a, another thing that would be kind of cool with this if you have like a Android box or a Roku player and you want to record some of the streaming content, you can use this as a VCR on some devices, which would be kind of cool. And then just going through the manual, there's not a whole lot to the manual because it covers all different languages, uh, but it does recommend to use the software either AMCAP 9.22, well it doesn't have to be that version, it could be a newer version. Or uh, use OBS, which I, I'll be using, or you can use XSplit, which is another video capture software. There's several video capture software that will probably, that would work with this. Okay, so when you get your device here, you can take anything, in my case I'm using this Edison satellite receiver that has a 4K output. It's not connected to the satellite, but uh, I'm just using it for a source because there's a, there's a graphical user interface. So you just plug so obviously you just plug the HDMI cable into whatever source you're in, that you want to use. In this case I'm using that. It will plug into this where there's an HDMI source here. So that wire from this device is going to this. So that's where your HDMI source goes. Then you plug this USB cable that comes with the device. It's basically just a male-to-male -male USB device, USB cable. Plug that, that guy in, put the satellite receiver over here. And here on my laptop computer, I'm just going to use my laptop for the purpose of this video. Find the USB connection uh, spot. Now, I have seen people actually stick USB cables into the... Uh, network cable and all that. Hopefully, if you've gotten this far, you're tech savvy enough to understand that the, where the USB cable goes. So this is how we install USB. Wrong, 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 wrong. You turn it over again. Look for the logo. You plug it in. Right. All right. And there you got the lights indicating that there is a video and it's plugged in. And I'm just going to launch OBS on my computer. I'm using Linux Mint 3. There's my camera. It sees me on the on the webcam of the uh, computer. It just went to default there. So I have that to 1080p. I'm just going to... Uh, if you want to full screen something in OBS, just hit Control and the F button. And then it makes it full screen like that. Or you can move this however, however which way you would want. So I'm going to create a new scene. So I've got go OK. OK, I'm going to add the video source. Video capture device. And I'm going to hit OK. So what I did here is I just relaunched OBS and there I can see the graphical user interface for this satellite receiver being captured. And as I say, it could be any HDMI source that you want. Once again, how it's connected is the US, uh, so the other way around, you want to go USB to the device using the USB cable. Then basically all you got to do is, this, what this device mainly does is it converts HDMI to USB. So think of it that way. Basically this is like a webcam. So you put that this is the HDMI. If this wire is running to the back of the satellite receiver here. There's a bunch of uh, <laughs> antennas and stuff for the Wi-Fi. And it outputs there. Digit Now is a company that sells old media technology like negative film digitizing 
record digitizing, video and film digitizing equipment, and all sorts of uh, adapters and gadgets for media devices. I'll have a link to their store in the description of this video. Digit now also makes other media recording backup uh, devices. I used, did a review on this device here, which has a screen and it's a computerless video capture device where you can connect a VCR, VHS VCR or, or your old camcorder videos and record them to a digital format and save them for years to come. So check out that video in the description of this video. All right, so I got OBS going on my computer here. So I've connected my camcorder up to the capture device. So you plug your HDMI source there. Now this is the program I really like. It's called OBS, uh, Open Broadcast Software. So you can switch between your uh, sources. You can use your camera as a source, or you can use your desktop, uh, your computer desktop and show stuff. I do a lot of live streams and tutorials this way. When you want to go add a camera, you can just simply go video capture device. Just click OK there and then it'll see the webcam. Now because I'm recording it won't see the preview but it'll show you all of of the settings for it. Uh, I usually put it on emulated so for the purposes of this video, because I'm doing a live, uh, I'm recording, uh, it doesn't always show on my computer. So you just select the camera uh, source here. Uh, and it's basically, it works like it's a webcam. So it'll be a webcam, like this is a camcorder hooked up to the, uh, to the device now, but you can connect anything up to it. Uh, any kind of source with an HDMI output. And I usually just leave all these as is. If you need to configure it with your recording, you can always um, switch that around. So you go to your properties, you'll see a preview in your properties. And sometimes with OBS, what I find it's uh, with a little glitchiness, especially if you're using multiple sources, you might have to, if you add a camera source, sometimes you have to restart OBS um, to, to get it working. So as I just did, I had to take a cut there because I had to um, restart OBS and just cut there and then there I am in the screen so I'm just going to cut to the product of this thing. I'm just going to move this guy over here. There we go. So you can do a video like this in OBS where you got uh, yourself if you're uh, talking about something and you wanted to review something on Amazon or something like that. So this is the product here. This is uh, the, the this is where you can find it on Amazon. It's called the the Digit Now HD Cam Capture three, uh, USB 3.0 video capture dongle live streaming game recorder device for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, 360 full 1080p 60 frames per second drive free compatible with Linux, Mac OS and Windows 10, 7 and XP. That's pretty good if it goes all the way back to Windows XP. So it looks like it's uh, $105. It says it supports most common software AM, CAP, OBS, XSplit. Easy to install driver. Now I just plugged this uh, right into my computer and it worked. And that's a Linux computer. So with Windows, uh, it's pretty good in Windows now. You, you just a lot of things are just plug and play and Windows and with uh, with Apple products. If it works in Linux, it should work with Apple because it's uh, Apple uses a Unix based uh, operating system with high speed USB three. You can capture one single channel HD video signal uh, suitable for devices with HDMI output such as Blu-ray players, uh, PS three, Xbox three hundred and sixty, Wii U etc. Capture resolutions of 1080p to 60 frames per second. So someone might probably will ask, does it do 4K? In that statement there, no, it doesn't do 4K uh, uh, reception. I don't really have a, I have one device here that outputs 4K, but um, if you're going to use this for streaming, probably you're going to want to even have your stream be 720p. At least that's where I have to because my internet's not as fast enough upload speed. So I end up uh, doing my live streaming at, at 720p. 
HD gaming. Yeah, as, as I say, you can use this for any device that you want. Uh, convert HDMI signals to Twitch, YouTube, Daily mo Motion. Yeah, it's ba basically a capture device, which is great. You might have a DVD player and you want to um, try to uh, back up some of your recordings or you have something that can output with HDMI, uh, that's a good so way of doing that too. So this is the device here. I'm just going to go through some of the pictures they have on online here. Yeah, it's not that small. The USB port's right there. Um, it indicates how you can plug it into your uh, TV, all the different devices that you can plug into it. The one thing that this thing has over other, like I have a capture device, but this one has USB 3.0, so it can capture a much faster bit rate uh, than that. I'm not seeing any frames drops, so that's good. Please check out freesatellitetv.net and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes, all sorts of things for your free-to-air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. All right, so I'm just going to show you my OBS settings. So if you're using, going to use OBS and use it for recordings, I can show you what's going on here so I think that's not there. okay so one thing you want to do is go to your output source yeah, let's look at you here so I'm just gonna move this over here this is in the settings so for streaming uh, I have bitrate uh, 8,000 just because that's I'm using doing a recording here now normally when I'm streaming I have to put this about 2,000 kpbs and using H uh, X 264 encoding and audio bit rate and all that select the directory where you want to save your video clips and I use MKV you can use mp4 and all that but in Linux it tends to the Linux version tends to fit uh, works a lot better with the MKV version so I just use that and recording quality same as stream so I have it all set here so I set it in the streaming settings and then just uh, have everything uh, set here to say set to stream in the uh, in the recording and that's how I do recordings and also for live streaming you just do that and you get your software key there's several tutorials on YouTube and uh, other video platforms where you can see how to do all this kind of stuff so this is just a general tutorial to get you started but if you need to get more deeper into OBS there's several OBS tutorials on the internet that will show you what to do so I just connected it up to my satellite receiver, my free to air satellite receiver. So you can see the picture in the screen there. And I can show you the on-screen display. It'll go with the OpenATV interface. So with this, I can kind of use my um, an interface with my satellite receiver. So with my satellite receiver, I can record on this. But what this will allow me to do is I can't record the interface. So for some of my tutorials that I do, but this device is great for capturing what's going on on the satellite receiver or a over the air box or something like that so you can go right into the info panel and to the settings and i'm able to look at my satellite signal going in there and all that good stuff so it allows me to make uh tutorials with uh av equipment and there it is in obs are you surfing the internet and not using a vpn when you surf the internet you really need be need to be using a vpn it's great for when you're streaming videos and you want to get content that is not available in your country, use a VPN. Check out the link in the description of this video to get ExpressVPN. It will help the growth of this channel by supporting us if you go through the link to get ExpressVPN. And if this type of stuff interests you, check out the free satellite TV for North American channels, plus over the air, plus streaming group over at Facebook. So thank you for watching this video. Please check out my YouTube channel. Robbie Strike. You can also find me on the internet at RobbieStrike.com. Spelt this way R O B B I E Strike, S D R I K E. Also, I have several videos about free to air satellite and computer and cord cutting, all sorts of interesting topics that I cover on my that are about audio video technologies so please uh, give my channel a subscribe and click on the bell notification